melanomas can even develop in children. They, uh, thank God, that's rare. Um, it used to be unheard of, I would say, in the latter part of the 20th century, early part of the 21st century, melanoma in those uh, between 12 and 18 has become more common, um, presumably because of more sun exposure. Obviously, social mores are different today than they were, say, around World War II. People are more willing to take off their clothes at the beach, expose themselves to the sun, etc. So people do tend to get more sun exposure. Young people do tend to get more sun exposure. So we've seen an increase in the incidence of melanoma in children. They often can look a little different. It is more uh, common to see blue nevi, literally these, these freckles that have a bluish tint to them. And sometimes it can be very difficult to distinguish between a blue nevus and an adolescent and a true melanoma arising in a blue nevus. And that's when the genetic uh, sequencing of the tumor can be helpful or the uh, characterization of the genetic material of the tumor because if it's really abnormal, a lot of broken chromosomes, a lot of abnormal repeated sequences of the genetic material, that means it's a melanoma. If the DNA looks normal, it's probably a benign blue nevus and you can breathe a sigh of relief. You don't need to go crazy about it. Melanomas in children often look different to the eye, uh, and it can be a little confusing as to whether the what appears to be a normal freckle or a benign freckle, whether it could have a malignant behavior, meaning the capacity to spread uh, and invade other tissues, which could cause the death of the patient. It's a little bit hard to find that out in a young person or an adolescent. In older people, it's usually much more straightforward. So that just highlights the challenge of making the diagnosis in a child. In addition, many of the drugs that are approved in adults have not been tested in children because frankly, it's so rare to see a young child with melanoma in any given institution. A dermatologist may see one childhood melanoma in 10 or 20 years. In a, uh, a referral institution, uh, certainly you would see more of them. And I can assure you there are more today than there ever were 20 or 30 years ago. And as you can tell by the gray hairs that I have, I've been doing this for at least 30 years and I can testify to the fact that early in my career, I almost never saw a child with melanoma. Now it is not unheard of.